we did the review uh, on mute. So oops. we're going to run some of that behind us because we don't have any more of the marmalade mojito. It came in a three sample pack. We used all three samples. But we're going to drink some other ones and we're going to talk about that one. I got Cherry Cosmo and Mama has Blueberry Merlot. Okay, this smells really good. So these little packets... Mm. Mm. These mm. little packets are basically little foil packets and you just pour your loose leaf right in so you're not steeping it in the packet. It's actually a loose leaf. So then you pour in your water. So this is Blueberry Merlot. This is Cherry Blossom. Cherry Cosmo. Cherry Cosmo, which is another alcoholic beverage, but there's no alcohol in these. So we'll let those steep. And this is Murder with Lemon Tea Cakes. Yes. I'm going to show you. This is the package that T Forte sent us with all the samples in it, the Herbal Retreat. So you can try all these flavors just a few at a time and see which one you like rather than going for a whole box of each one. And they're also nicely portable, so you could take this somewhere. Blueberry Merlot, Apricot Amaretto, Cherry Cosmo, Kiwi Lime Ginger, and then the one that we bought it for, Marmalade Mojito. Thank you, Marilyn, for suggesting it. And while this is going, we're going to tell you how, what we thought of the one that we drank on mute that we're going to run behind us. It was, it was a spearmint. Kind of orangey. Orange. It tasted best cold. Yes, we iced it and we liked it a lot better cold as iced tea. Then it became sort of a dreamsicle flavor. As a hot tea, it was all right. It was nicely minty and I liked that minty feel. But um, it was, cold was definitely the way we would do it if we did it. Are you sure we don't have the exact same tea here? They look very close. These colors are very similar. So, Marilyn, we like your tea. We like it iced. And when Emma ices, she puts sugar in it. This is by Karen Rose Smith. And it's book one in this series, the Daisy Tea Garden Mystery Series. Daisy and all her relatives have flower names. Aunt Iris and her daughters Violet. And Jasmine. And Jasmine. Also known as Jazzy. Mm-hmm. And they run a tea garden where they serve tea and pastries and people come and enjoy a good time at their tea garden. Aunt Iris is dating a man who's in the process of getting a divorce. And then he goes, ah. And he is the unfortunate murder victim in this story because there's always one of those in a murder story. And you have to get him, and you have to have a main character who's close to them so that they can be framed as was in the stupid detective's mind. She, she's saying that um, the detective in the story was a bit of a goofball. So, um, yeah, so the detective is looking at Aunt Iris to see if she's the one who killed Harvey. And like. Daisy's working very hard not to get Aunt Iris framed because she does not feel that Aunt Iris did it. So she's got to hunt down who actually did kill the murder victim. It's a shocker. Yet, yeah, we were guessing right to the end. I guessed correctly mm, 15 pages from the end. I thought it might have been who, who it really was, was mm -hmm. but then I also had suspicions of someone else. Yeah, she did a good job of putting a few characters in there as foils so that you would guess they did it. Daisy also has a couple love interests, and so you yeah. don't... Yeah, Emma's 11. She doesn't care about that. It's a murder mystery, not a romance novel. It took Emma a little while to get into the book because the uh, romance shows up fairly quickly, and she's like, why are there all these people who want to date this woman? But, of course, you have to allow a little bit of that. It's human interest. People really do date and get married and have children. It's like, oh, he's cute, but he's cute, too, and he's cute. Just pick one up. Late in the book, she does choose one. Which is finally just... Did she make the right choice? Yeah. You like the one she chose? Yeah. Yeah. Less annoying. So, are we going to read... I'm going to tell you the names of the other titles in this series. Okay, Karen Rose Smith has written a lot of books, but the Daisy Tea Garden mysteries that are listed here are Murder, Murder with Lemon Tea Cakes, 
murder with cinnamon scones, murder with cucumber sandwiches, and murder with cherry tarts. And we went with this particular tea for this particular book because the mojito is a citrus tea. This does have three recipes in the back, the lemon tea cake recipe and then a potato soup recipe and uh, Tessa's carrot salad. So if you like recipes, this book does supply them. We're going to read the next book in this series? I think we are. All right, so Emma was one over. All right, so now let's try these flavors. We liked the mojito. Now we try these. Hmm, it's now got a little bit of a cinnamony note to it. Ooh. Strong and pungent and tart. This oh one's my. tart. So is mine. Are you, you got blueberry merlot and I got cherry. I know that, but this one. It doesn't feel cherry to you? Oh, it does, but you're pretty much describing my tea, too. The one, the mojito marmalade that we drank in this silent video was lush citrus, refreshing spearmint, and a tropically inspired steep, which contained honey bush, green rooibos, spearmint, orange peel, fair trade, certified rooibos, natural orange flavor, sunflower petals, and other natural flavors. Now this one I'm drinking is the Blueberry Merlot, an award-winning herbal blend with sweet berries and savory sage. Okay, sage is the taste I'm picking up on. Ingredients are rose hip, fair trade certified hibiscus, blueberries, sage, natural flavor, and cornflower petals. And Emma's having the Cherry Cosmo, bright pink and fun-loving with the taste of cherry and berries. With rose hip, fair trade certified hibiscus, apple pieces, natural flavors, and raspberries. Right. That's what I'm tasting, raspberries. Okay, so you're getting the berry from the raspberry. And I'm getting berry from the blueberry, and I'm getting the sage, which makes it spicy. So I would do this, I would do this hot, and I would do it on a cold day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As a kind of, you know, Christmassy sort of, very tart, 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 tart. Mm-hmm. And if you want to see what the leaves look like, I will open my handy dandy thing and pour it out for you. Lot of little berry pieces in there, like cherries and such. Let me see mine. Well, blueberries, I guess. And then mine here. Yep, blueberries. Now, what would be a cherry here? See how much bigger hers are than mine. Cherry. We don't recommend it to eat tea, but I like to see what I'm getting. What is that? So her little piece, my little piece is here, and then her larger pieces. There's a fair bit of difference there between the two. All right, Emma, what you think about the T Forte Herbal Retreat? I like the T Forte family of products. All right. Well, thank you for joining us. And now watch some silent film. Until you see us again. Make sure to make time for tea and a good book. Bye.